Hey fam, it's your girl Lakeisha Marie and I am here with the Hubster. <laughs> so today is a super exciting day for us because we are on our way to the design center um, to pick out the upgrades and different features that we want inside our new house. Um, features like the lighting, the faucets, the cabinets, countertops, things of that nature. And uh, also, today the townhouse officially is on the market. I don't think it's in the MLS uh, uh, list just yet because I checked it this morning and I and I didn't see it. But it should definitely be up. It should definitely be up today because we even have the for sale sign in the yard. They put the for sale sign in the yard yesterday. So. So yeah, it's oh my god, it's 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 it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. I guess I'm a little a little sad, just a little bit, to be sad at my townhouse. So that was my first house. So, but it's all good. It's all about building a new future with the hubs and the husband, right? So yeah, this it is a beautiful day today. We picked the perfect day, the perfect day <laughs> to take vacation days. Yeah. From work. It is gorgeous outside. <laughs> so yeah. So what you guys got going on this weekend? What y'all gonna be getting into? What we gonna get into? Oh, tomorrow we have to go back to the builder and go over our um yeah our blueprints we gotta go over our blueprints tomorrow and then probably gonna go in and check the lot to see if they have the stove signed up because the last time we last weekend we went the stove sign wasn't up there so hopefully the stove sign is up there tomorrow so we get a chance to take pictures in front of the stove sign and things like that so because yeah they didn't because i don't think they, they have any like outline a lot yet because when we chose our lot, we chose it from a diagram. So we haven't had the chance to go out there and see it outline and, and say, okay, this is our lot. So hopefully we'll be able to do that tomorrow. So, so yeah. Oh, and last weekend we picked out our brick. Yeah, you didn't get the primary one we wanted, but our second option was, was made available. Yeah, yeah. Really liked, I really liked the first option that we chose. And the reason why we didn't get the first option is because on the, the street that we're going to be living on, someone else has already purchased a lot and they had already started building on their house. And so obviously they chose a brick already. So the brick that we chose is in the same color group as their brick. And with our builder, you can't have two houses on the same street in the same color group because they want the houses to look, you know, different. They don't want, you know, they don't want all the houses to look the same. So it's like every three houses has to be, you know, different colors. Yeah. So, so yeah, so our first choice ended up being in the same color group as our neighbor. And uh, we had to go with the second choice. So, I mean, second choice is, is nice. It's just that the second choice is a little bit more traditional. Whereas the, our first choice was a little bit more funky, I think. So, I don't know. But it's going to be nice nonetheless. It's going to be nice. So we'll definitely keep it posted. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super excited. And a little, are you nervous? Everything just been going so smoothly so far. So yeah. it's like. I guess if I'm nervous about anything, it would be just the selling of a house. Hopefully, about that process goes yeah. smoothly. But there aren't any surprises or upsets on that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, hopefully we get it for the price we want in the time frame that we need. So. Yeah. Yeah. We've been working hard, y'all. Getting our house. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listing ready, I guess. Uh, I showed y'all a little bit in the last vlog 
for the kitchen and stuff but we went through the whole house and pretty much depersonalized it like taking down pictures and all our personal items and hard just, work yeah yeah just taking it down because they want the house to look like a, a hotel yeah a blank slate for when people come in to to look at the house because i guess the reasoning is that they don't um you know, you don't want your buyers to come in the house and see pictures of you and get all wrapped up in yeah. you yeah. that they don't really see the house. Yeah, it doesn't have a homey feel to it. That's, you know, you want buyers to feel like this could be a home to them. Yeah, that, their yeah. home. Yeah, exactly. Now that they're coming in your home, <laughs> they're coming in their home because <laughs> the purpose is for them to sell it. So, so yeah. So, yeah, so we're excited. So we're gonna take you guys along with us today. Um, I'm gonna shoot whatever I can shoot in a design center just to kind of give you guys, you know, uh, a look into what it is that you know we may be choosing and picking and things like that. So, so yeah, we'll let you back in with you guys in a minute. Okay, so we made it to the design center. The doors are locked. Hi, how are you? So I guess we gotta wait for somebody to come open the door for us. As you're gonna see here. Yeah. No, not yet. We just got here. Take a look around. beautiful selections up in here. Oh, be oh, be I ain't complaining. It makes my job easier to pick when there's not too many selections, but I see a lot of stuff that I like. The question is, what's the prices on these bad babies? So we'll see. At least we kind of in a, we in agreement on so how we want our kitchen to look. Still discussing the bathroom though. And the carpet that we absolutely like is an option here, so that's awesome. So we'll be able to get that carpet in a new house. These stones are pretty. Take a look. This will hurt the fingernails. Very nice. But believe it or not, I want a simple countertop in my bathroom. Because I want a simple, clean spa look, is what I'm going for in the bathroom. Jane, not filling up just a plain white countertop. So we'll see. Hey guys, so we are back at the house. The design center first appointment went really well. We ain't got something to eat afterwards. Didn't necessarily log that because we were talking about business or whatever. But for the most part, I think it went well. What you think? Yeah, I think it went very well. A lot of decisions were made, a lot of ideas shared, and we got a little bit more to go in the future. But I think today went very well. Yeah, today went well. We went over a lot of stuff. Like, who knew? Our house had that many decisions. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, you know, we had to pick out the hardware for the for the cabinetry. You know, cabinets, countertops, of course. But we had to figure out, you know, what type of sinks do we want? Um, do we want a, a drawer for our trash can? You know, Sick. do we want a, a, a spice rack drawer? Um, do we want a drawer for our sponges in the kitchen? I mean, it was just so much, you know, just so many things to choose from. And, and of course, all this is upgrades. So this is how they make their money. So you just kind of 
decide what you want to do because you know for those of you who's never built a home from the ground up like all these upgrades are rolled into your mortgage if you don't you know if you're not fortunate enough to be like oh i want to spend twenty thousand dollars in upgrades here's twenty thousand dollars that money is rolling to your mortgage so that's a part of your mortgage payment so it's just like all these little stuff that um that adds up like we even had to decide whether or not we wanted like how we wanted the the edges on the mirror in the bathrooms like every single detail we had to pick out and next week when we go back we are going to talk about the the electric and the plumbing right the electric and the plumbing is next week right yep so it's crazy but the woman that we had was really really cool i liked yeah. her because you know things that we can do on our own like for instance the, the yeah the faucets in the bathroom we just got the standard faucet because and the standard shower because you know why pay them two hundred dollars it's going to be rolled into our mortgage when we can just go to home depot and lowe's and just pay forty dollars right <laughs> yeah for a shower a nice a really nice shower head so um and so like little areas where we could like save on save money and like do it ourselves or whatever like she was cool enough where she told us her opinion and those things you know but not being forceful or anything like that right yeah. did you like her yeah i loved her i thought she was very good yeah she was very nice so oh. so that was cool <clears throat> It was a really cool experience. But once we got started, you guys, it was like, we was like rolling through. So I really couldn't get that much footage as I thought I would, would be able to because we was just, Running we was just, yeah, yeah, we was, we were on it. She was on it. We were on it. So, because our appointment today was only two hours and you only get four hours. Total total so anything outside of the four hours you have to pay two hundred fifty dollars for every two hours two extra hours with with a consultant you know right but if you wanted to spend time and just walk around and make your own personal decisions you're free to right. do that right right you can do that on your own so so two hundred fifty dollars for two hours is an assistant visit unassisted you can come whenever you want to however many times like she told us one lady was in there and she was like that was like her 10th time back at the design center yeah yeah you, you can't be step good you have to have your mind made up on what uh -huh. you were the direction you really want to go down right if not you'll be in there forever yeah so. absolutely absolutely so overall it was fun though yeah. it was fun it was cool yeah. kind of seeing everything put together i think it's gonna be nice yeah, I, do too, so. I think it's gonna be nice i'm excited i can't wait to see how and you know i can't wait to see the finished product oh and another thing that we have to decide on is whether or not we want square or round sinks like yeah <laughs> Houses have definitely changed. I mean, the game yeah. has changed. So, I'm wow! Like, like they come, they come square now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And that's like an extra five, six hundred dollars for a square sink. But it did look hot though. It was hot. It, hot. it, was, it was hot. hot so. so we gonna think on that one. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a few things that we want to think on because, you know, we want to make sure that we get all the stuff that like we really really need like we want to do some round sounds in his man cave and stuff like that so you know we want to get all the big major stuff out the way first and then see what's left in our budget and then go and do like square sinks in the in the master yeah i mean because i mean i'm cool with a round sink but yeah. But like I said, that square did look hot. So the square was hot. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so that's our day today. As it relates to the um, the house hunt. <sighs> well, not house hunt. The home building. Yes. I guess more so the home building. Whatever. So. So yeah. But anyway, so. Yeah, so, yeah, we see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
and rocking with, rocking with us today. If you guys have built a home or in the process of building a home, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know your experience and what you're going through. Let's chit chat about it. You know, compare notes and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know that you enjoyed it. Because if you did, we'll keep making these types of videos. So yeah, until we see you in the next video, you guys, have a good one.